how we doing? Just another a beautiful day in England. Sun shining. Sun shining. Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, it's pretty. It's actually not too bad today. We got overcast. I don't know why I'm starting this video with the weather report, but here we are. We got a uh, an overcast day. Highs of 12. Winds picking up to gusting at 25 easterly in the afternoon. Um, today is a tournament day. So I'm on my way to East Devon, we're about five minutes away. And uh, it's the Devon Alliance, which is a sort of like a pro-am, am-am, and a pro individual all mixed into one. So in the winter, whilst I'm getting ready for the tournament season, as this is tournament prep, day two, by the way, second day in a row of uploads, pat myself on the back. The, I've got Devon medals and Devon alliances. Devon medals, not quite as much money, and it's just the Devon, sometimes the Cornwall pros, uh, sort of like a roll up, get together, a bit of competitive golf. Um, and this one, Devon Alliance, just a bit more money up for grabs. Usually about, I don't know, 300 quid for the winner. You know, it's not, we're not gonna be retiring. Uh, it's not quite live money, but it's a chance to play competitively in the winter. And today, to be fair, we've actually got a bit of a treat. So East Devon's one of the better courses in Devon and it's always in really good condition throughout the winter. It's one of like the dry ones because it's Heathland. So yeah, we should be in for a bit of a treat today. I, um, going into this tournament, I'm just focusing on because it'd be easy to like approach these tournaments that are sort of pre-season. Be easy just to approach them like they're not that important. But then when you get to the actual tournament season and you tee it up and then you adopt sort of like a different mental outlook on it, then it can be easy to sort of like tense up and not play freely and not, and not play usual games. So I try and approach these all in the same way that I'd be approaching the tournaments in season when, when we kick off at the Cornish Festival in, uh, in April. So today the main focus is going to be trying to think more pre-shot and think less when I'm actually stepping in to hit the shot. Um, oh my days, my camera's fucked. It's good to have like a carefree attitude on the golf course whilst you're playing a shot. So like free yourself up. And this is what a mistake that I think a lot of amateurs make, and I've been guilty of it in the past, is sort of like that trying too hard. Um, you wanna like sort of let go and let things happen um, and have like a like a quiet intensity with your focus, not like a, you know, like real fierce intensity. You wanna, you wanna just be as relaxed as possible and allow yourself to perform. But then what I found is when I try and adopt that sort of mentality, pre-shot I can also do the same. So I don't think through exactly what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to adopt the thought and no thought um, way of looking at it. So as I would, just analysing where to miss, where not to miss, you know, how far I want to hit it, wind, direction, all this stuff, all the all the things that you need to factor into a golf shot before you play. And then when I step into the shot, I'm trying to just switch off and play rather than it be completely switched off or completely intense throughout. Um, I think that's a good way of sort of approaching the mental game. So anyway, we are uh, just pulling up to East Devon. Unfortunately today, I'm not actually gonna be able to film much of the round, I don't think. I might be able to get my um, amateur partner to film a few shots if um, if I'm lucky. But when it, when it actually, well, what I'm working on at the moment is trying to get firstly a trolley that I can sort of um, put my camera on. So then when I'm in tournament rounds, I can just flick the, flick the button and then go about my business and then not put me off. So these tournament days will be filmed a lot more course footage in the future. Uh, but just for the time being, just as we're really starting this, I'm still trying to work out how to do this whole series. Just bear with me, all right? So anyway, let's park up, get ready, shum golf. Um.
205 downhill. Yeah. Right, so what happened was I went out there and at the moment I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because I've got a, when I'm playing tournaments I've obviously got a focus and when I was out there today I've not got a camera or a way of a, uh, setting up a camera that's going to be easy for me to just flick a button, record and then go about my business so I, I was, what was I? I was one under through eight holes every fairway every green miss loads of putts um and then on nine i was like right i just I'll, f I'll film something down here put the phone down and it's literally me propping the phone up on my golf bag on like my head cover and then i'm out of my routine out of my little rhythm and just just pull sniped one about a hundred yards left on nine um ended up having 200 yards in hit it on the green made par so it's fine and then at that point I was like shall I film anymore shall I bother and every time it'd be like me just trying to prop up and I'm like this isn't really this that's not really it that's not like how I'm trying to do it and I appreciate this may be boring as fuck just me sat in the car talking about it but it's not going to be like this all the way through um, what I need to do is basically pick up an action camera uh, attach it to my bag so I can just press a button and and not have to think and then, and then at that point, it's very easy, and I'm not getting him away, but I'm also filming most of the round, so it keeps uh, it makes the videos interesting rather than me just sat in a car. So, anyway, played really well today. I shot one under par. I made one birdie and 17 pars, bogey free. So that's my second ever bogey free round, I think, to be fair, in a tournament. Um, very consistent. Hit a lot of greens struck it really really well um, and my short game is definitely getting better like on the last for instance so on the last hole today just hit it over the back of the green and I had this tricky little chip and I thought it, this is a point where potentially in the past I would have putted from there because I had a bit of fringe to get over that was wet but I still probably would have putted but I'm getting a bit more confidence now in my chipping I just chipped it to three foot and hold it. So, yeah, things are looking pretty good game-wise. Um, and at the moment, I am in tied second because we're playing a pretty long version of East Devon today. And, uh, yeah, it was not easy. The next daily video is going to be on a golf course playing some holes, I promise you, and a bit more interesting stuff. But let me know, like, how you're finding these so far. Like I said, it's just at the start of this. I'm just trying to figure out a way of doing it properly. Um, but yeah, join me on the golf course. Join me tomorrow. We'll be on the golf course playing to my house.